From right across Australia, two families have been chosen. They've never met, but are about to swap their lives and their wives. Cherie Clark is a kid's entertainer at work and at home. Her seven cheeky kids do what they want. House slave Brian is the family giver, working 60 hours a week and doing all the housework. Michelle Harding is a white witch. Her three kids must comply with her strict rules or they're punished. Husband John isn't expected to lift a finger. The clown and the witch have agreed to step out of their comfort zones and live for seven days under another roof, experiencing a different life. Can laughter and order coexist? I have a fear of clowns. No, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> this is bullshit. This child didn't like it and she disappeared for two hours and no one knew where she was. You can go to bed whenever you like. Yes. I don't think their little bodies are going to handle it. I want to think about having sex before I... I want to think about that before I go to bed with your dad, not Mom! cleaning the toilet. Mom! Behind this calm suburban house front, chaos reigns. The Clarks are a large family where laughter is more important than discipline. We have seven totally different children under the one roof. I don't want scrambled eggs, I already told you. Oh, never a dull moment. Go Do you want tomato sauce? Yes, we've got tomato sauce. Why'd be I'll difficult? Some. We've got uh, Nathan, Bianca, William, Kirsty, Courtney, Cindy and Sally. Who wants to offer to wash Dad, up? Dad, not happening. Any more dishes over there, kids? Yeah. And none of the kids lift a finger in the house. Somebody want to bring some over? Someone come get them. For Cherie, her life is about making kids happy. Yeah, I have a part-time job. I'm actually a children's entertainer. Dimples the clown. Being married to a clown, she obviously lightens up the, the day on numerous occasions. Oh, mum being a clown, <laughs> it just represents her, really. <laughs> I think of my mum's clowning as embarrassing. Heather, you've got pretty face. And funny, and embarrassing, and funny. There you go. Cool. Oh, please, please, please. What am I doing? Cherie and Brian are happy to run a mad house where everyone can come and go as they please. In the Clark household, there really isn't many rules. <laughs> And I'm sure if they were, they'd be broken. <laughs> Sweet aunt. In the mornings, it's Brian who's up first, tending his idle wife. Oh, and trying to get his daughters up and out the door. Come on, Courtney, time to get up. Don't seem to be a lot of action out there. Where are you? Looking for my clothes. Brian, I want a peanut butter. The hardest job every morning is to motivate the oh. girls to get out of bed. Go, go away. The combination of not wanting to go to school and just simply not wanting to get out of bed. I'm not going to school today. Brian is the main breadwinner and his slothful family let him do all the housework. <laughs> well, Even if the girls make it out of the door, there's no guarantee they'll go to school. Well, I don't know how often they skip school. Well, I know Courtney did last Friday, last two periods. <laughs> In the evenings, the girls don't have to do homework. I really don't like school at all. Like, I think it's just stupid. There's not routine for meals or chores. I do not have a bedtime. None of us have bedtimes. I just won't go to school in the morning. Yeah, I'm definitely not an early bed goer. And no one gets reprimanded for bad behaviour. Overall, our children definitely have a, uh, their share of freedom. Yeah. yeah could say our children do, um, you know, rule the roost. In the Harding household, the kids don't get away with much. Drew, you've got to unpack the dishwasher today. It's your day. We do not like the laziness. We do not tolerate anyone being lazy. We've got a chore list on the fridge. <laughs> we have to do them weekly. There are clear rules. Everyone knows that, yeah, you're not supposed to lie, you're not supposed to steal, you know, all those sorts of things, but... We just happen to write them down and let them know, so it just reminds them every day. And if Brighton 15, Phoebe 11 or Drew 9 misbehave... It's in the naughty spot. You do the crime, you do the time. They've got to think about what they've done wrong. 
one minute per year of their age. So Brighton's 15, he gets 15 minutes and jeez, he hates it. You've got to follow by the rules or you get in trouble. And... But this strict mum is also a white witch, using her energy to bring good fortune to her family. There's things that I enjoy about witchcraft, like if you believe it works and you believe in it, then it gives you the power to be able to do whatever you like. It's pretty and it's good. I actually did a spell years and years and years and years ago to meet someone exactly like John, one blue eye, one green eye. So, suck eggs. Michelle claims she can cast spells, plan spaces and talk to the dead. I've had a few people walk through the entrance here, just right here, and they'll go, oh, that's cold. It's a cold sensation. And so I need to just say that that's my brother. When Michelle's not busy with her magic, she's a stay-at-home mum who's obsessive about her housework. Clean's probably the most important thing for me. I know, I like the floors vacuumed every day and mopped. And toilets get special attention. Don't look at me like that. You're the one that cleans the toilet, what? Three times a day or something? <laughs> I do it anywhere from two to three times a day. I call it a compulsive, a compulsive oh, I do disorder. not have obsessive compulsive disorder. Shut up. Son Brighton is the apple of Michelle's eye. She drags the whole family along to his gigs. He's brilliant. I still cry when I see him perform. I love watching him. Very, very proud, Mama. <laughs> Brighton would like to drum full-time, but the Hardings strongly believe in a good education. Yes, they should do as much as they could possibly do at school. It's a good structure for them, and I'm not raising children, I'm raising adults eventually, so we install that pretty well, don't we? The swap begins. For Cherie, her thoughts are on her own family. Of course I'm going to miss my family. You know, I wouldn't be human if I didn't, you know, yeah. They'll miss me more, though. <laughs> but with Michelle, it's very much about the family she's going to join. I'm worried about going to someone who doesn't look after their house and have no rules and no structure. Have bye. It's time for final goodbyes. For the next week, the wives will be totally out of contact with their families. And if someone can find a way of organising my family, well, I'd be take my hat off to them. My emotions are all over the place, not really quite knowing what to expect. Both wives have a chance to get to grips with their new surroundings before they meet their new families. <laughs> I love it. That's bizarre. Hmm, a teenager. Definitely a teenager. And he's either emo, definitely a teenage boy. Oh, got a little bike. My kids would love that. The cleanliness of it is not to my standard, but it just needs a, a clean. Oh, so she's into fortune telling and all this stuff. Gotcha. So she's into um, reading cards and tarots, eh? Cool. Trying to figure out how many bedrooms there is. There's no doors. OK, here we have the rules of the house. Keep hands and feet to yourself. No arguing, yelling at each other. Always ask, don't tell to do something, no lying. Don't answer back, no smart mouthing, no swearing, no calling or bullying, no butting into conversations. Rules wouldn't even stay on the wall at my place. <laughs> it's a dining table, so they should be eating at the dining table. That's a ritual in my home that we eat at the table every night together as a family, because that's the first thing that we can share all our experiences for the day. Michelle is starting to wonder how many kids live in this house. Oh, OK. So there's another bedroom. OK, I'm confused. Maybe they've got more than three children. 
not much privacy for them if they're girls. Awesome. So, the teenage boy must be into heavy metal. He's got good taste, Jimi Hendrix. Cool, we must have a little band or something together. OK, so cool. Crap, how many kids have these people got? Oh my God. I think the situation's worrying me now with how many children they have. This poor woman. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm a little overwhelmed now with knowing how many kids might be in this house. Shit. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, there's a puppy. There's a dog. Oh, it's a rolly dog. Is it alive? With the tour of the house over, the wives sit down to read the household manual that will give them a further heads up on the week ahead. You'll see from my Buddhas, candles and incense that I'm a very spiritual person, as well as being a Buddhist. I'm what you'll call a white witch. You don't need to have special powers, you just need to believe. Not true. That is not true. Welcome to the house of fun. I have been to clown school and I am very proud to be a certified clown. <laughs> oh my God, I'm not just up as a clown. I hate clowns. <laughs> I, I have a fear of clowns. Oh my God. John works a 40-hour week, so it's unfair to expect him to do any housework. God, she's dreaming. She's dreaming. Yeah. Um, OK, because my husband works, like, a 60-hour week and he does heaps of housework. Being a qualified clown has helped me deal with my seven children. <laughs> seven kids! I'm going to die! <laughs> My kids rule the roost. Oh, OK. They more or less decide if they want to go to school or not. Let them stay home? Mm -mm. No way. They deserve an education. In our house, discipline is either confiscation, grounding or timeout. If they're misbehaving and they've ignored the first warning, they get sent to their timeout corner. OK, um, not a 15-year-old, I hope, cos that'd be a joke. My seven crazy, fun children all have great personalities. They are very lazy and will sit in the room as my husband cleans around them without offering any help. He works six days a week. And that's what he has to do? Nah. I do ironing every day. Well, guess what? You're going to have a lot when you get back, Michelle. Oh, I hate laziness. I hate it. These kids are going to rebel against me big time. They're not going to like me. Coming up, too much cleaning forces Cherie's mind to wander. Yeah, there's better things to think about, like having sex with your husband. Have you seen my girl? And Michelle loses one of the children. They all come and go. And I just felt ill. Kid-friendly clown Cherie Clark... Rules wouldn't even stay on the wall at my place. ..has traded houses and husbands for seven days with strict white witch Michelle Harding. I think I'm a little overwhelmed now with knowing how many kids might be in this house. Both wives now wait anxiously to meet their new families for the first time. Hi. Hey. I'm Kirsty. Hey, how are you, Dom? Oh, all right. <laughs> Come here. Nice I'm to meet Michelle. you. How are you? I'm good. Which one are you? Sally. Sally, how Hi, are you? Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Courtney. Hey, darling, how are you? Hi, I'm Brian. How are you? I'm Michelle. Nice to meet you. Hi, how Michelle. are you? How are you going? Really I think the main thing is that um, the more she gets to know my girls, I think the more they'll befriend her, and I think if anything, I'll make her stay here a lot more easier for her. What's <laughs> wrong with You're too nice. <laughs> this is half of us. I know, there's oh. another three. Oh, there's only three yeah. more. There is only one thing Kirsty wants to know. Are you strict? I can be, but it just cracks me up when they ask, am I strict? Am I really strict? They'll soon find out. The girls are sharp enough to know they are not getting the full story. Can we do a guessing game? No, You're can a priest. We, can we hear what you want? Priest? No. Um, taxi driver? No, I'm not a red Wait, wait. <laughs> what is it? You're a taxi taxi driver. Driver. Spiritual, like a palm? Radar? Something, something like that? I'm a witch. Yep. I knew it. I practice witchcraft. Yep. Get the broom. 
<laughs> I don't do that type of stuff. Never expected a witch to come to my house. I've had a clown here for a long time, but never a witch. Yeah, my first impression, she looked like, tough. Like, oh yeah, I can't really give her cheeks, then she might clobber me in the face or something. I just, I burn incense. Do you know Harry Potter? Oh, that's right. no. You could do that and it smells nice. nice. And I just cleanse homes and animals and stuff. And... She looks like a bitch. Charming. Let's see how Sally's mum goes meeting her new family. Yeah. Oh, we got Matt. Hello. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. Hello. How are you? All right. <laughs> Jump in. Go in, you. You must be Phoebe. No. No? Oh, I knew that. I knew that. I was just testing you. So you must be Drew. Yes. Hi, Drew. It's an honour to meet me. I'm Cherie. How are you? You've got cold hands. You must have a warm heart, hey? I think of Shri as a funny person and she's really cool. Hi, how are you? Good? That's good. I'm not right. cautious at this stage because I've only just met her and I don't know exactly what her whole story is and how she's going to react to how we run our lives. And you're bright and a drummer, mate. Yep. Yep, way to go. Good. The Hardings are curious about how many kids Cherie has. We have seven mums looking after. Are they all at home? Or all, all at home. And I also am a clown part-time. Cool. My mum's afraid of clowns. <laughs> is she? Oh, shucks. <laughs> really? Well, maybe that's how I should go to the table meet, hey? <laughs> With a toilet brush. Woo! <laughs> Instead of my feather duster. <laughs> It's dinner time at the Clark House. Pretty straightforward roast chicken rolls, and Michelle is already coming to understand the lay of the land. So who normally does the dinner in this house? A couple of nights a week I'll do it, and maybe a couple of nights a week to take away, so... Do the kids ever do it? No. We don't know what to do, how to put a chicken in a roll. <laughs> Dad, can you help us? <laughs> With Brian handling dinner for the girls, Michelle follows 17-year-old Kirsty into her room. She senses something's not quite right. So you've been drinking today? No. No. Nah. I've been at school. Oh, yeah. I can smell it on you. I don't drink. I don't drink. <gasps> you don't drink? No. Oh. oh, I reckon that's a fib. I wouldn't handle Brian coming home drinking. No. Not at that age. No way. But yes, these are my porn heels. They've been worn once, so they look like they've been thrashed. They look like I'm a pole dancer. And I'm not. No. I'm no raw. Michelle and her new family aren't sure what to make of each other. I don't believe that she actually believes in that stuff. I think it's just like an act. You can't really believe that there's witches. Like... I'd be watching what I'd say if I was you. I know, she's going to club at me. She looks like Toppy. No, she won't. Right she won't club you. She'll just put a spell on you. Next morning, it's business as usual for Brian. Yeah, Dad, I don't want to go to school today. Well, I want you to go, so uh, it's non negotiable. Come on, because I've got to get going early. I've got a sales meeting this morning. Come on. Serious, Courtney, you've got to get ready. Wow, I'm getting ready. <laughs> getting ready, Dad. <laughs> I might go to school today. I'll see if my friends are going. Brian's other important morning chore is serving his wife breakfast in bed. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Morning, my swap. How are you today? Thank you very much. That's awesome. No, I hope you do like veg tonight. I do. Thank so the girls are sorted? Pretty well. Looks like Courtney's uh, won the war. She won the war. And um, and Cindy and Sally are going definitely. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. So just just. Brian think. does everything. That's not fair. He shouldn't be doing all this stuff. I'm thinking Sheree thinks it's more important to be their friend rather than their mum first, and give them guidance and direction. Meanwhile, as if sensing a soft touch, school attendance is suddenly an issue at the Harding. I don't want to go to school today, because I'm going to go see my mate Marley because she's staying at home. Brighton wants to skip the last day of term. But what about John? Will he let you stay home? I think he was hoping to go to a friend's house. I think he wanted to go there rather than school. If I was the boss today, I'd, I'd let you have the day off. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so. I'll just have to suck it up and go to school. Yeah, unless you can con John in on the way. I'll try. Yeah, I just said it's a normal school day, you go to school. So Brighton heads off to school as Courtney soaks up the sun in the Clark backyard. Yeah, I wag school a fair bit. Like last year, I was wagging at least every second day. No, I haven't really figured out what I want to do yet. It's kind of scary, but I'm so lazy. <laughs> Obviously, I want to just go out and be independent and do whatever, like, straight away, but it's so much easier just living at home. It's like everything done for you every day. At the Hardings, Cherie starts in on Michelle's four-hour cleaning routine. Yeah, you have to have rocks in your head if you enjoy cleaning. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Joe. <laughs> yeah, there's better things to think about, like having sex with your husband. Michelle is used to a strict and serious world, but in order to get a true flavour of Cherie's fun-filled life, she must confront her darkest fear. It's um, just a phobia, and it stems from when I was a lot younger, just with a really bad experience. By facing her crippling coulrophobia, she must learn the fundamentals of clowning with Yo-Yo. It's going to be very difficult for me because I have a fear of clowns. Hello, Michelle. How are you? Nice to meet you. Let's try and get rid of that fear. I'm Yo-Yo. Hi. Nice to meet you. Good, thanks. <laughs> How's your day been today? Good, thanks. Yeah. No, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> While Michelle struggles with the comedic, Cherie is about to take on the spiritual at the Hardings. It smells like an Indian restaurant. It stinks, actually. <coughs> Cherie must try meditating to bring enlightenment and good fortune to the family. <laughs> Don't have time for that sort of stuff in the day. This is bullshit. <laughs> I'm serious. Hang on. Mm. Clean the toilet tonight. Clean the toilet in the morning. <laughs> we'll sit down and relax. That's that's meditating. <laughs> Sorry. With Yo Yo D Clown, Michelle puts her fears aside and continues her lesson in fun and games. Just bring it on out. Yeah, I haven't done this for a while either, obviously. <laughs> One hand whip. Pinch. Bring it in, pinch and twist. It's the popping that I'm more frightened of. Okay. Definitely faced my fears today and I definitely learned something new. And then we're gonna go like this. Pinch it in. <laughs> Whoops, there you go. I told you I'd <laughs> That's one. all right. Now Cherie must bake cakes and indulge Brighton and his band. I think there is a lot of focus on the band more than the girls. <laughs> Brighton seems to get a lot of attention, and I guess his mates do as well, along with that, because they're part of the band. And wonders if Phoebe and Drew are getting equal time in the spotlight. They were telling me that it gets very boring when they go to gigs. No, You're not having one. They would probably like something that they continuously do that Mum and Dad would be full-on interested in as much as the band. Most kids that get attention would be Brighton. He does whatever he likes. So I would get the most attention. Michelle is just home from clown school and the house is unusually quiet. Oh, you know where Sally is? The family realise 12 year old Sally is missing. I am the parent in this home at the moment. And I just felt ill thinking that this child's in my care. <laughs> and she disappeared for two hours and no one knew where she was. Courtney tracks Sally down at the neighbour's house. Sally went missing. <laughs> we didn't know where she was. No, we, we only realised, like, then. Why didn't you tell anyone? I yelled at them. Two. I don't know. The yeah, house? Um, tell us next time, not the house. They all come and go. And there's no asking. And there's no communication. Rule change looms ahead. Well, I think it's pretty fucking stupid. One of the Clark kids finally lifts more than a finger. Where does the poo go when you pick it up with the shovel? Over the fence. 
over the fence. And all fun and no rest takes its toll on the Hardings. I think they'll crash and burn tonight. <laughs> The rules are about to change on Wife Swap Australia. Jolly joker Cherie Clark wants less chores for everyone. Yeah, you have to have rocks in your head if you enjoy cleaning. <laughs> While enchanting enforcer Michelle Harding wants a little more respect. They all come and go, and there's no communication. At the Clark House, Michelle is imposing some order and discipline. With the rule changes, I think we're going to get maybe a little bit of rebellion. But I'm hoping that they're open to it, and I think that's what they need. But at the Harding House, Cherie is doing the exact opposite. When it comes to rule change, I won't be getting up at 6 in the morning. Everybody can sleep in, go to bed when they like. You know, let them have a little bit of fun and feel comfortable and free in their own home. In typical Clark style, two of the kids pull a no-show for rule change. But at least 18-year-old Billy has finally made an appearance. Clark family. For the last three days, I've enjoyed hanging out with you, having a laugh, and clowning around. What I've noticed, there are no rules. Kids, it's time for you to get off your butts and start helping your parents. I will be assigning chores to all of you, and I've created a roster. Please, excuse me. Oh, oh. Settle down. Well, why are you hitting me? Don't hit me. First job will be to tidy up the lounge, clearing the dining table of folded clothes. In this house, the kids rule the roost. Well, not on my shift. Allowing your children to come and go as they please is disrespectful and unsafe. A 12-year-old girl should not go missing for two hours without anyone noticing. Brian, it's time for you and Cherie to take back control and be the parents again. The girls must ask permission when they go out, not tell their parents, then write where on the whiteboard. You will need to write down where you are going, who you are going with and what time you will be back. There are no exceptions to this rule. On the education front, Michelle arranges for a tutor to help on schoolwork. And finally... As a white witch, I use white magic to help myself and other people. I am now going to cleanse this room and bring positive energy, harmony and balance to this home. We have that already. <laughs> Hi. I'm Dimples the Clown. And I'm all about F-U-N, fun. I also like to take it easy, so I hope my rule change brings smiles to your faces. I think it's OK to be lazy, so under my rules, we'll be doing a lot of sleeping. You can wake up whenever you like and go to bed whenever you like. Yes. John must treat Cherie to breakfast in bed and there'll be no more chores for the kids. We are ripping up the chore chart and making a new chart, a joke chart. Your pranks must be funny but not hurtful. So use your imagination and go wild. And Mama's boy is also in Sherry's sights. Brighton. I think your band is awesome and I think you're a fantastic drummer. But everyone in the family pays a lot of attention to you and Crossfire. So I'm shifting my focus onto Drew and Phoebe. Yes! Right, so there's lots of laughing to do, so let's get the joke chart up on the wall and Brighton, you're up first. Back at the Clarks, Michelle performs a smudging using a bundle of herbs called a sage stick. So you go into the corners and it can get rid of bad energy and bring good energy. <laughs> That's a big joint. I, I think that'll do it. Yeah, it's good. Fucking rank. How do you feel about that? But I think it's pretty fucking stupid. What? And that's not the only thing Billy's not happy about. The rule about saying that you just let the kids roam free, you don't let them go at 10 o'clock at night. So the rest of Australia is going to see this and look at you. It's just, oh, look at this fucking drop kick, Dad. How do you feel about that? He took it as a, as a reflection or as a, um, a bad thing towards me when he shouldn't have, really. He should have really been, been taking out the positives of it instead of the negatives of it. Dad, can you just help, help out for today? No, just simply get the first pile. So, first up is to see what lies beneath 
the Mount Washington. Well, if it wasn't something so major, we would have this done every day, oh, don't good. you think? Oh, no, come on, let's go. Okay, let's yeah, start. I'll help you. I know that would have been okay. hard to do, but you pick it up and you go like that. Yeah. I like the clothes where they are. Me too. They're easy to find. No, no, no. Can you at least put the pile nicely? No. I want my clothes to get crinkled. <laughs> Dad, Sorry. help us, please. No, nah, we're doing good. Mine, mine, mine. I think Michelle's rule changes are sensible, good rule changes. There's no doubts that uh, from a, um, both Sheree and I can be lax at times with our kids. OK, next pile. We think our lifestyle was organised, but all of a sudden, by listening to Michelle today, it proved that we're not that, that organised at all. And these are yours. They're so not mine. Just chuck them. Just chuck them. Seriously, I don't want to keep going. What do you mean you don't want to keep going? Look how close we are. And the first order of business at the Hardings is doing away with the chore chart. Oh, uh, the chore chart, like, oh, I think it's got its place you know, as it, you know, teaches them a little bit of responsibility, you know. They, they're going to be young adults soon themselves. They're going to start fending for themselves. But, you know, for a short period of time, I guess, why not have some fun with it and stir them up? Why not? How does that feel? This is the best part about that. I get to keep all the pocket money. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Life is now about fun and jokes, so John starts the day with a prank of his own. The bacon, eggs, put on the top. Morning. <laughs> breakfast in bed. And here's your breakfast. That's good a bloody good bed. trick. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> And the good times roll from there. I've got some. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You call that a practical joke? <laughs> Don't Are you okay with Well, I'm writing up who I've done a joke on and I have to put a tick if it worked or a cross if it didn't. Michelle is determined to get the Clark girls to value their education. Girls, the tutor's here, so can you just hop up at the table for me? And the He's newly here. revealed dining table gets its first workout with the arrival of Bob, the tutor. Can I just ask, how do you like fractions and decimals? It's just great. It's one of my hobbies. One of your hobbies, is it? There we go. Off you go, then. <laughs> You know how to do those? No, I don't know how to do anything on these papers. How many A's have I got multiplied together here? Twelve? <laughs> Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just so right. good. And what about this one? X three. Not three. Close. No, twenty-five. Or a hundred, so I just did four twenties. Right. Suck it. Suck it. <laughs> you right there, Kirsty? Yeah, I'm just looking at the calculator. That's not going to be thirty percent, young lady. Oh shit. No, no, it's not that. It's numbers. You've got a, an extremely important exam coming up. Yeah. If you want to come into the centre and do some additional work or on the HSC in general, I'll help you through, OK? Cool. Sounds good. So what do you think? Bob said yeah. I could get free tutoring if I want. I just got to call him. So that was pretty good, cos I know I need it, so I might take that up. <laughs> it's pretty nice of him. I didn't expect it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cherie's focus is on Phoebe and Drew, and it's all about fun. There's some net practice for soccer mad oh, yes. Phoebe. Even some real clowning at a vacation care party. It was fun. I liked all of it. A bit of clowning around. Mm. Never hurt anyone, did it? Mm. Amid the fun, the girls are being allowed to stay up till all hours. They stayed up till, I think it was about quarter to one. Hey, Drew. Mm. You do need a little big day tomorrow. I, don't, I think they'll crash and burn tonight. <laughs> I don't think their little bodies are going to handle it. Back at the Clarks, any excuse for a break from the housework is taken. Michelle is sick in bed, so we decided we'd turn the TV on and watch a movie because she will never know. As far as I know, they're doing the chores, so I'm really happy. <laughs> but what she doesn't know won't hurt her. Okay. 
Kirsty? Only 15-year-old Courtney is having a go at her chore list. Where does the poo go when you pick it up with the shovel? Over the fence. <laughs> Over the fence? <laughs> oh, my God, Kirsty, please help me. This is not right. This ain't even Rosie's poo. I know he does bigger and better ones. Maybe that's a human poo. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the pond. But after the movie, Kirsty decides to head out without asking. I don't know where Kirsty went. Oh, did she ride it on the board where she was going? To be shortly followed by Courtney and Cindy, leaving 12-year-old Sally home alone, playing video games for a lot longer than Michelle's one-hour limit rule. She's not going to find out anyway, so I'm not really breaking the rule. Let's go. Where are your sisters? I don't know, I think they're the front. I've got to pee here. Have you seen my girls? Only two. Thank you. They're in trouble. I'm really upset with them that they didn't do it because I don't know where they are now, I guess. I don't know their numbers. I can't contact them to tell them to come home. I don't know how Cherie does it. I can't. Oi. Yep. Oh. I come out here five minutes ago. Where were you? Uh -huh. No, you won't, because I walked down there. If you walked down there, you would have seen us. You should have woke me up. Yeah, we didn't want to wake you up for all that trouble of us just going like 50 metres down there. Michelle is not happy and puts the girls to work. You need to dust and I clean know. your room. It's pretty much clean. And Missy Moo. Can you please sweep and mop? Thank you. The Clark girls seem to have inherited their mum's aptitude for cleaning. It's easier if you use two hands. It goes heaps faster. No. No. And then just mop. There you go. God. There you go. <laughs> you you missed the spot. Shut up. <laughs> oh, you're a good girl. And two hours later, Kirsty decides to Hi. show up. So where are we being? Just to the shops with the friends. Get food. OK. Ollies. <laughs> you should have told me. That's Sorry. the one huge rule change. That was the oh. one huge rule change. I miss being in control of my own situation and my own life, and I'm completely in no control whatsoever. I'm going to talk to Dad about it and see what he thinks. I wouldn't be worried with my dad. Dad's like a softy. He would just be like, go to girl, don't do it again. And that's it. <laughs> so, Brian, have you thought about any consequences to Kirsty today? Yeah, I think that uh, although I'm not sure of whose turn it is tonight for the dishes. It was for me to do tonight. Oh, OK. Well, I think maybe uh, as a fairness that uh, Kirsty should do that. Thank you, Brian, for backing me on that. No I problem. appreciate that. That's good. Next, the wives come face to face, but don't see eye to eye. The four girls, they do need to go to school. Yeah. They deserve an education. John he's is so definitely good. under the thumb. <laughs> no, he's not. John is not under the thumb. <laughs> and families are reunited. Did you miss Mummy? <laughs> so The Wife Swap Australia experience draws to a close for pampered jester Cherie Clark. Here's your breakfast. That's good a bloody move. good trick. <laughs> <laughs> and spiritual advisor Michelle Hardy. So you go into the corners and it can get rid of bad energy and bring good energy. Despite having her rule changes broken at every turn, Michelle is hopeful that she'll be leaving some positives behind. I'm hoping that I'm leaving behind some structure. Help Dad out. <laughs> he needs it. And Cherie is primed to pass on some expert advice of her own. Yeah, I'm looking forward to table meet, telling Michelle about um, having a little bit more fun and um, rather than sort of like the girls walking on eggshells all the time. Be good. 
We're gonna bite you. <laughs> My little Sally. <laughs> Always. Always. Shut up, bitches. No. <laughs> Behave yourselves, but have heaps of fun doing it. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye. Bye. Look at the real way. Okay. Yeah, I won't do that again. <laughs> now it's time to sit down and chew the fat Hello. at the table. How are you? Good. How are nice you? To meet you? You too. John, how are you going? <laughs> My thoughts on what Brian did, like, with 80% of the housework, yeah. I just thought, Jesus, there's seven people, like, nine, nine. people in this house, why is he taking on 80% yeah. of the load? And it was just... Yeah. I just thought, no, not happening, like, quite some strict changes with them. Yeah. They rebelled the first day. Yeah. No, they rebelled? As you were telling them about the changes, they said, that's not going to happen, no, 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 but then actually did it. So it was actually a compliment to Michelle. She turned them all around. Yeah. I went I to bed that night in shock. <laughs> I told you she'd whip them into shape. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's what I wanted. <laughs> I um, got some smudged sticks and went through the home and smudged, cleansed the home and stuff. That was what I said, I'll be peed off, I probably won't go back home now. <laughs> it's, it's all right, there's nothing there to... Because I didn't want, I knew witchcraft and all that was going to be, but I thought you wouldn't let a spell happen in their house. There, there was, was no, no spell. Spells. Okay, no spell. Okay, that was what, okay, was fine. No... I got a tutor in for the four girls. I think they benefited from it, right. even though it was the school holidays. They right. still did it out of respect, yeah. and they did do it. One of the positives that come out of the week, for sure. Courtney did refuse to go to school on Friday. Yes. Oh, she did. I was I under said... your rules, so I couldn't enforce, right. enforce it. So education is huge. Yep. I want them to be able to have so many choices. Yeah. So that's why I brought the tutor in. They do need to go to school. Yeah. They deserve an education. Yeah. So I was quite um, strict on that one, wasn't yeah. I, Brian? <laughs> that was actually one of the main reasons why I agreed to do wife swap. Yeah, there was at one point where I was very overwhelmed and I actually just... Felt like you'd had enough. Yeah, and I just wanted to leave. Right. Well, yeah, they did break the rules. <laughs> I was expecting it. Yeah. So... Of course, they're teenagers, like yeah. young teenagers. So I've actually asked them to do their chores. Yep. And I said, I'm just going to go and lay down. I'm not feeling well. Yep. To wait. And then I woke up to find that three of them had gone. Right. And didn't come and ask. <laughs> I'm not allowed to punish them. Really? Somebody would always step in and stop it, you know. Cherie may be big on the fun, but it's Brian who is lenient with the girls. When I was growing up, the I was very... Uh, I lived under strict the conditions. Very military style. My father yes. was in the Navy 33 years and he enforced, yeah. Yeah. enforced his regiment, so, regiment yeah. around the house. Mm. I always thought when I grow up, my kids... I wouldn't be the same to my kids. They're walking over you yes. and you've yeah. got to pull them up. Yeah, exactly. And they're young girls and yes. right it frightens so. me what trouble they could get into. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, so when I arrived at your place, um, I feel like maybe you have a little phobia with the toilet as yeah, far as, you know, I think you need to chill out a little bit more at night with John rather than think about the toilet before bed and you should be thinking about other things. It's more her, her own compulsive disorder. <laughs> they have to do the toilet four times a day, you right. know, that's the... <laughs> oh, John this is song. definitely under the thumb. <laughs> no, he's not. Everybody he's too. Other people too, supposedly. <laughs> no, he's <laughs> not. Meet and greet on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, I yeah, got yeah. the... Have you noticed John is... Uh, <laughs> no, no well, um, John is no. not under the thumb. And you've been told you're not under the thumb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Being school holidays, I let the girls um, stay up as late as they liked and sleep in as long as they liked. So quarter to one was their latest. Oh. How'd you cope? Can you turn my eyes? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> That's why I have bedtime. <laughs> so has this experience altered the wives? I don't want any more children. I've been wanting <laughs> more children. I don't want any more children, so that's a good positive. Yeah. And also the fact that, yes, the housework can wait. It's going to be a little bit more relaxation. Calm down a little bit. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's great. And I just I want to be with, yeah, be with John and the kids. Yeah. Just made me realise exactly yeah. how good I've got it at yeah. home and, with my and, kids. And me, I know how good I've had it. I've always said that, that I've been very spoiled and yeah. very well looked after. I'll go back, Will. <laughs> and with lessons learnt, the wives return home to waiting families. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Did you like Sheree? Yeah. 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 She was fun. She was a clown. Was she? Did you miss Mummy? <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Real changes. One, sleep in and go to bed whenever you like. School no, or not? not happening. She thinks that Crossfire seems to get too much attention, but um, that's just bullshit. It's not. Not real fucking happy about it at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think about that. But Mum's a fun mum too, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. yeah! <laughs> Hi, Mum. Curfews, you know, like, I trust my girls. If they want to come home at 2 o'clock, well, I'll go and pick them up. You know, her, her children had to do an awful lot of chores for how young they were. Well, she said she does everything in the kitchen. No, no, they... No, that's not true. She cleans the toilet four times a day. So she's you like... Know, she yeah, but you're a clean freak right. with the toilet, but she's anal. Yeah, but, you know, hey, I don't want to think about having sex before... I, I want to oh, think about that before I go to bed with your dad. Not oh. cleaning the toilet. But at the end of the day, did either wife make lasting changes to their adopted families? Since I've come back home, I've been feeling pretty good, actually. Pretty proud of myself for lasting seven days <laughs> with the Clark family. You're not quite so stressed over the housework. <laughs> That's a bit lonely. It's not quite normal. Uh, Is that a bad go. thing? No, it's a bit more relaxed. Girls, are you doing chores? Yes. yes. The kids still do their chores. Yep. Make sure they go in the right place No, if buts or maybes. They do it. At the right place? No, my family didn't need to have more fun. We have our own fun here. There's no pranking going on. I learnt to appreciate my kids more. They're good kids and they do do their chores and they do go to school and so it was a big eye-opener for me. We're trying to raise kids that actually look after themselves. I think we're doing all right. What about me, though? You missed me? What about you? <laughs> and the Clarks are taking schooling a little more seriously. Courtney's been going to school every day. She Hot hasn't time. had any more days off. She's probably been late one or two times, but she's made it. School's not that bad. It's just so repetitive and it's boring, but it's not that bad. Kirsty's in the middle of the HSC at the moment and uh, she has definitely um, shown a, a, a more commitment to studying than she did before. I think Bob helped a bit. I didn't call him, which I should have, but I think I want to be a florist, so I'll do some courses in that and get a job there. I think we should have left the chicken to Dad. Oh, I noticed that John has to get Michelle's approval, you know, whereas Brian's a man, you know, we both sort of do wear the pants in a sense. Yeah. And um, only when I allow you to. Oh. <laughs> He's dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want those scratch marks again? <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> so, if it's due diary time, I'm just gonna cross to you out of this eye. Um, can you see me? I can see you. Can you actually see me? Are you lying? Wrap up, she has no. Oh, do a funny face, ready? see you there. Have you been on this whole time? Okay. And that's 
That's a wrap, guys. Bring me in. Let's go low, the crowd is hot. We're feeling the energy, it's amplified. Oh, yeah. The beat drops in, we're all in sync. Dancing like nobody's watching, there's no music. Swaying, reaching new heights With every step, we captivate the crowd The cheers and applause, we're so proud We got that pop song, it's in our head Melodies will make us move, we can't help but dread Hands up in the air, we're lost in the Our stage, our kingdom of groove Where dreams ignite And inhibitions we remove We're addicted to the rhythm It's a heartbeat With every move we feel the music complete